Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskies. And for the first time ever, I'm going to do in English my top 10 videos. My top 10 Scotch, my top 10 American, my top 10 Irish, and my top uh, 7 <laughs> world whiskies. Why 7? I only had 7 this year that I can actually recommend and say wow. All right? So, What's the requirement? Requirement number one, I had to taste them in 2022, which means I did a review online about them. This was not something that I had at a tasting someplace else. This is not something I had on a live stream. This is something I did an actual review about. So we have 37 different whiskeys that I'm going to present to you. And here is my list. We're going to start off with number seven. This is from McMurrah. The Brooks Whiskey, it was a 13-year-old, 2008 vintage Swedish single malt. 41.1%, whiskey base number 196450. Very, very interesting whiskey. Um, it thoroughly surprised me. I am not the biggest fan of a lot of the experimental things McMurra has done in the past, but for some reason, bam, this whiskey was awesome. Number seven. So moving on to number six from France, Amaric, a 15-year-old single malt Breton whiskey with 46%. Whiskey base number 217564. Now, a good friend of mine over here in Germany, Valentin, he actually asked Jason, could you put the 10-year-old Amrik into a tasting, a blind tasting somewhere? Somehow this year, I was like, yep, yeah, did it. Didn't really do fare that well. But then I found out, look, um, my importer here for Germany has the 15-year-old. Let's go buy that and try it. I was so pleasantly surprised that France has a 15-year-old whiskey. Sweden, 13-year-old. France, 15-year-old. That was even a little bit better. So I really, really like that. All right, moving over to uh, number five. I'm a little bit self-conscious about this one. It is from Germany. It is a St. Kilian um, single malt scotch whiskey that was matured the entire time in an ex-rum cask, but I own that ex-rum cask. So, <coughs> so this is actually a cask share that I did with people in Germany. This was a 30 liter cask. It was about almost, it was three and a half years old, and it was delicious. Um, 30 liters means 50 bottles. Mm, there isn't even a whiskey base number for it. Sorry. At least I didn't find it there. So I'm um, very, very, very nicely done. So what did I do here for my videos? What I did is I actually ranked them myself. I asked my super fans. I have about 150 people that support me here in Germany um, with um, Patreon or also at YouTube memberships. And they are in special WhatsApp groups and they were able to vote on these. And so the St. Kilian was on me for me, position five for my fans, position six. So then let's move up to position number four. It's going to be from Ellsburn here in Germany. Ruby and Tawny Port Cask Batch 1. A German single malt whiskey. Um, whiskey base number 193844. I was very, very pleasantly surprised how good that whiskey actually was. I like the combination of Ruby and Tawny Port together. Full maturation. German exclusive only. So sorry. Yeah, let's move up to our third position. My fans and I, we both agreed on this one. Cavalan Solist Brandy Cask from Taiwan, a single malt, 57.8%. Um, I'm not sure if it was a German exclusive or European exclusive. Whiskey base number 198631. Very delicious, 200 plus euros, a little bit too expensive for my taste, but it was all about the taste on this list. Cavalan Solist Brandy Cask, mmm. Cavalan Solists are great anyways. All right. The next German whiskey that I have here is from Ellsburn again, but this time it's the Cozy Winter 7th edition, special release for 2021. 196984. Uh, Very nice whiskey. It's thick. It's it's uh, I had it at number 4. It should have been up at number 3 to be honest. My fans had it as number 1, so it had the second most points total. Um, very, very nice whiskey. Every year they put out 
a new whiskey at Ellsburn called Cozy Winter for a Kirsch import exclusive. And there are batch variations. <laughs> Every year tastes a little bit different. And that year there was just a port, a Malaga and Mazala, I think. And then 2022, actually a cherry added as well. Hmm. And last but not least, and I hope you like this one. This is um, something that even in Germany, people did not get. It's called Nine Springs. Great distillery, by the way. Year of the Tiger German Single Malt Whiskey with 52%. Whiskey Base 217686. I was at the Nine Springs Distillery with about 35 other super fans. Um, we had two other YouTubers there, Holly called Whiskey Buzz, she has an English channel, and Zasha, he's called Friendly Mr. Z, he does not have an English channel. And um, they, together with me, we actually had a wonderful weekend together at the distillery. And during that, we had a tasting of the Nine Spring products. Bernd Erbricht, um, the owner and the founder of the distillery, pulled out this interesting looking bottle and said, here, try this. And everyone was like, fantastic. Can we buy it? He said, well, not really, but. What does that mean, not really, but? This is for the Chinese market. So he actually filled up two pallets, if I could see correctly, with whiskey, and he had a few bottles left over. And these became a distillery only. So the year of the tiger for China. And so we, as the people that were there on that weekend, basically bought all the bottles. <laughs> so most of these bottles are now in China. And a few of them actually remained in Germany. And um, I had one of them and I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. All right, going from top to bottom, once again, the list. So you can see the names. Um, number seven, um, seventh place was a McMurra Brooks whiskey, 13 years of age. Um, from 2008 when it was distilled. Uh, number six is the Amorique from France, the 15-year-old single malt. Number five is my own little thing that I did with St. Kilian together, an ex-rum 30-liter cask. Number four is from Ellsburn here in Germany, R Ruby and Tawny Port Cask, batch one. Number three is from Taiwan, Cavalon Solis Brandy Cask, 57.8. Number two is once again Ellsburn, so they have two things in my top seven. That's very, very good. Well done, well done. Cozy Winters, number seven, special release, 2021. And the winner is another German distillery, Nine Springs Year, the Tiger German Single Malt. So four of the seven are from Germany. I could have done a list of the top five in Germany that I wouldn't have anything for the world, and I really wanted to have the Swedish, the French, as well as the Taiwan whiskey in here. So, um, the next couple days, you'll have a Irish top 10, you'll have a bourbon top 10, and a scotch top 10. Looking forward to those. First time in English ever. Whiskey Jason here. Thank you very much for watching. My question of the day is, what is your favorite 2, 3, 5, 7, 20 whiskeys from World Whiskeys? Excluding Ireland, excluding Scotland, and excluding, I'm going to call it North America. <laughs> All right, world whiskeys, Japan, Europe, Africa, South America, Australia, blah, blah, blah. What were your highlights of the year? Thank you very much for watching. Seeing you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.